<sighs> yeah, I know. Anyway, I'm only doing this video because somebody on IG was asking about the California hookup, meaning the airlines and and the electrical shit that runs up underneath the trailer. So I did a video on it and I didn't really go into details about it, but he wanted some details. So I'm gonna try and break it down to you real quick. Let's see, does that one have one? Nope, that don't have one, but anyway, like yeah, that. Run. So they'll run up underneath there. Anyway, they was like, well, where do you get the plate from for the bottom? Well, that plate right there is actually the plate that goes behind like a, if you, if you haven't had your truck stretched or something, they come stock on a Peterbilt or a Kenworth. They don't come on Freightliners. I figured that, I just found that out. Uh, basically it's the plate. <laughs> you can find them at the junkyard too, they got them. I'm like, they only cost like 20 bucks. But it goes across here and it's the airlines that come up and you know, all that it just comes from right there and goes up there. That's all it is. Uh, you can get that for about 20 bucks at the junkyard. Or you can get you some angle iron, or you can have somebody custom make you one. Which, that looks fine to me, but who's going to see it? Anyway, and then you're going to have to, you know, I know y'all wanted more details. Ah, uh, this is my other trailer. You're going to have to get you a, a junction box for your, for, your, for your wires. So you can run both plugs at the same time or anytime you want to and then you're gonna have to splice into your airlines of course uh which i did over there i think on this one yeah there it is i splice into them right there this is my old trailer well it's not old but old to me is because it's my first trailer uh with frankie but you splice into them and you run it right there pretty much ah. it's not too hard just time consuming when you gotta do the, the junction box. You also need to run one on your tractor too. So you can make for the plug in the back. Which I mean, what I'm talking about is that plug. And then if you want to, you can still keep the one that goes right here. Or if your truck is stretched, you might wanna bring it back a little bit and get you one of those. But yeah, that's pretty much how it, how it, how it goes anyway so that's my 2016 utility presidential but i'm going back to this one my great dang it's 2014. i know y'all see where are the pieces at i got them off right now because i'm doing a project i'm probably gonna be painting it the same color as frankie and i'm getting maybe the chrome vents i don't know but the reason why I'm taking this one is because that one's not paid for. I'm still paying for that one. This one's paid for. And it's got more features on it, you know, like to tell you when you got a flat tire and all that shit. But uh, I want to spread it. You can only do the one that's, that's paid off. You can't do the one that's not paid off. And I'm a great dang man myself, so, you know, I just got a deal on these because we end up buying two of these. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go back to this one and get it ready for a stretch or a spread should i say not a stretch a spread and the sun is kind of hitting right now anyway yeah sorry i haven't been doing youtube videos y'all know it's hectic out here they giving out this cheap ass freight and shit i'll probably run another maybe maybe month and then i'm probably might shut them down for a minute until they figure out what they gonna do because i can't i can't keep doing this 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 I have to like act like I'm a team load in order to get some money. But y'all didn't hear that from me. Anyway, I'm out. Till next time, I got my GoPro. I got my drone. Everything is charged. So I'm probably going to start doing some YouTube videos pretty soon. But it's just been real hectic lately. So it's been hard to do the YouTube videos. Yeah. All right. I'm out. Till next time.